What's going on, YouTube Ferocity? I hope you guys are doing well. I just finished watching the full Season 1 reveal of X Defiant. And I was already excited for Season 1 before watching this. But this reveal heightened my excitement. As I feel as if the game is going into a very positive direction content-wise. Do I still have some issues with some of the gameplay aspects? For sure. But from a content perspective, X Defiant is doing a lot of good things. They're adding more weapon mastery camos and oh my god do they look amazing they're adding a new faction which we'll talk about in a second they're adding new weapons they're adding three new maps they're completely changing ranked play and all of this is going to lead to a pretty complete game and they also answered some questions regarding some other game modes as well as some other features that they hope to add later in the game so let's talk about the most important thing first the brand new faction, the GSK. This is going to completely change X Defiant. The fundamental differences that we're going to see in the game moving forward are going to be extraordinary. Considering the fact that this new faction doesn't just have strong tactical abilities, its passive ability is insane. The passive ability for the GSK is that you take less damage from headshots. Since the beginning of this game, we have known that headshots are way stronger than going for body shots. But now with the GSK, that is going to change. Every single gunfight is going to be affected by this. I know that the Phantoms have 20 extra health points, but that doesn't affect every single gunfight you're in. Only a few of them. But with the GSK, it is going to significantly affect the majority of gunfights you're involved in as a GSK or trying to fight against a GSK. Maybe body shots are going to be the way to go. We don't really know yet, but that passive ability alone, to me, is going to change the game. Now, the two tactical abilities are awesome. One of them is a trophy system, which I think X Defiant has needed. I'm a little bit disappointed that it is locked away behind a tactical ability and not just something you can have as part of your loadout so that is a little frustrating but i do like the addition and again this lends itself to how you construct your team and i'm going to get into that in a second because the gsk abilities really do fundamentally revolve around smart team play and smart selection of your factions because the secondary tactical ability that the GSK has is their barbed wire, their shock wire, I guess it's called, that shocks enemies that step into it. So similar to a spider bot, but not as restrictive, I don't think. It's just going to shock the player, and then you're going to hopefully be able to get an easy kill. And you're going to be able to utilize this to defend objectives. You're going to be able to utilize this to lock down certain areas of the map. And I think it's going to, again, affect the way the game plays. But if you can properly pair other tactical abilities that are in the game with this GSK ability, I think you have the opportunity to really overpower some objective play and really take advantage of this new ability. But overall, I, I really like what they're delivering, and then the ultra that they have is sort of a riot shield pistol situation, which is going to be interesting to go against. I'm very curious to see how it plays out. Obviously, we'll find out tomorrow. I will dive right into using the GSK, as I'm sure many others will as well. I'm just pretty excited for this overall. Now, the other things they talked about here that I wanted to highlight isn't the new weapons. It's not even the new map clubhouse. It's some of the questions that they answered regarding some new features that are going to be added into the game. First and foremost, Prestige is coming eventually. We're not really sure when, but it is coming at some point. Along with kill cams. Kill cams are something they are working on right now to implement in the game. And honestly, I'm looking forward to that. I think kill cams are imperative sometimes. And I know that they're difficult to implement. So I'm really hoping that this goes well and that kill cams can be in X Defiant. And the last thing I want to touch on is Search and Destroy. Their new game mode called Bomb will arrive at some point in Season 1. So not only are we getting Capture the Flag, we're also going to be getting Bomb. That's pretty exciting. 
Now, it is a little disappointing that there's no events that are coinciding with this. It doesn't sound like more challenges are coming into the game anytime soon, or at least none that they discussed at this time. But that doesn't mean that we're going to be short of content, because we're going to be getting a new map every single month, starting with Clubhouse, and then Daytona, and then Rockefeller. And these maps look beautiful. They look like they're going to fit right in with the aesthetic that X Defiant has been going for, so I'm excited there. The new weapons, sawed-off shotgun, new AR, new sniper rifle, nothing really groundbreaking there, but it's nice to see that they're consistently going to add more and more every single season. And the cool thing too is, is that they're adding unique rewards for playing ranked play, and I'm a sucker for any game that wants to incentivize players to play a certain game mode by giving them unique rewards. And there's going to be a ton of other rewards that are earnable instead of just purchasable. That I really like. So I'm looking forward to a lot of what Season 1 is going to deliver. Obviously, there are still some core adjustments, changes, and improvements that need to be made to the overall netcode, gameplay, and balance. But when it comes from a content perspective, we are getting a brand new faction that should change the way the game plays. We're getting a new game mode in Capture the Flag Day 1, a brand new map, some new weapons to grind for and to grind to their new mastery levels. And we're getting new mastery levels for every single weapon and the mastery camos look beautiful. Yes, that grind is going to be real. Yes, it's going to be long and tiresome, but it seems at least that it'll be worth it. So catch me grinding up my ACR all the way up to that sixth mastery camo and ask me to go touch some grass after that. I'm excited to be hopping into season one of X Defiant. I hope you are as well. There's a lot to look forward to here, but I want to know what is it that you're most excited for in Season 1? And what else are you looking for from Season 1? What do you hope that X Defiant addresses throughout the next three months of this game's life cycle? I think there's a lot of good that's going into this game, and I think that we're in for a very good first season. But it all starts with them getting off on the right foot tomorrow with a solid launch. You guys know how I feel if you've been around this channel before about games that create major updates and then break their game. I hope that's not the case here with X Defiant. I hope that Season 1's release and launch goes extremely smoothly. That way we can all enjoy the wealth of content here from Ubisoft and X Defiant. But that's all the time I have for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, can you please hit that like button? If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.